Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to introduce you to some lesser known features of the Streamlit library. Specifically, I will be talking about the Streamlit Extra Package. This is a collection of custom Streamlit components that can help you enhance your apps. Most of these components are written in Python with a little bit of HTML and CSS. You can think of the Streamlit Extra Package like a toolkit of useful tools, kind of like a utility belt for Streamlit. To use the Streamlit Extra Package, you will need to install it using pip install streamlit-extras. Once you have done that, I recommend checking out the following example page to see all available features. In this video, I'm just going to show you 5 of my personal favorites. The first feature I want to show you is the Data Frame Explorer. This allows you to easily filter and explore a pandas data frame within your app. After importing the Data Frame Explorer, you can pass your pandas data frame to the Data Frame Explorer function. If you now insert the data frame on your page, you can filter it. For example, if you select the person column, you can further drill down and filter by all available persons in the column. This can be really helpful if you want to give your users an easy way to interact with and explore a dataset. Next up, we have the colored header function. This is a simple way to add a colored header to your app. You can customize the label, description and color of the header. This can be a nice way to add some visual interest to your app and it is also an excellent way to help users navigate and understand what's happening. Another fun feature is the emoji rain. With just one line of code you can add some fun to your app by letting it rain emojis. You can choose from any emoji you like and the effect is pretty cool. This might not be something you use all the time, but it can be a nice touch for certain applications. I used to create this effect manually with custom CSS on my projects but using the Streamlit Extra package is much more convenient. Another helpful feature is the switch page function. If you have multiple pages on your site, this is an easy way to help the user to get to the relevant page. Like in this example, if I click on the button, Streamlit will redirect me to the contribute page. Finally, the toggle switch function allows you to add a toggle switch to your app, which can be a user-friendly way to control certain features or settings. For example, you could use a toggle switch to allow users to turn on or off certain filters or features. This can be a nice alternative to using checkboxes or other form elements. Ok guys, and that is all I have for you in this video. As I said, I suggest to check out this example page yourself. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite feature. And as always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.